Miracles still cast a shadow over the blue planet. One of those miracles happened at the end of the 19th century, when Zhong Li was sentenced to death by hanging. This is despite the fact that it has been tried more than once on the vacuum and the success of it, but when Zhong climbed the gallows was a complete paralysis. What is really interesting about this case is the British government's response, which decided to abolish the death sentence and commute it to life, but was John guilty and deserving of death? Did the sky sympathize with him? Was the gallows properly hung? All these questions and more will try to answer them together in the next lines. Are you ready to go on that journey with a man who has tried death more than once? Who is John Lee? The beginning is always with the hero, we have to know who he is and how life went with him until he brought it to that limit. In fact, John had one of life that never leads to good ends. Although he was born in a good country like Britain, a superpower as they say, and although the birth came at an ideal time, 1864 AD, at a time when Britain was an empire. Suffice it to say that one-third of the continents of Asia and Africa were in the hands of that superpower, and no one was able to cover it except France, and also blandly. But in the end was the upper hand of poverty. He was not the son of a poor farmer or an industrious laborer. Indeed, he was born an orphan, and his mother also did not stay long after she was born, leaving him alone with his older sister. By the way, that sister is a turning point in the story. John Lee and the Hardships of Life Any child of the age of John, age six, naturally dreams of logical things that suit him well, for example, wish a good education opportunity, good food, good clothes, good housing, a good life in a more precise sense, but John's life was a life of poverty and unity at the same time. It was a good fortune that he had a five-year-old sister who worked as a housemaid to provide her brother with the necessities of life. But would that be forever? John Lee and work. John had to work to provide what he needed, so he began to do a lot of work by the time he reached the age of 16, and in every work he did he found a great failure for a very simple reason that he was not honest enough, unfortunately John had a fairly long hand. That length makes it stretch to steal things from the owners of the places where he works, and although these things were mostly food and drinks, they were eventually considered theft. So he was fired from work. The situation went on for two whole years. Before John Trader came into the street, his sister's lifeline came to her, and she was able to persuade her lady to run John with her. He could do a lot of things. I have a servant with his sister in the same house. The killing of Ms. Keys. John went back to Mrs. Keys's house and started working normally, but he had not recovered from the robbery yet. The lady caught him stealing money from her bag. Yet she did not expel him and his sister, but only deducted a month from his salary. On November 15, 1884, Keyes was found brutally murdered. She was struck by a metal rod on her head and slaughtered from the neck. At the same time, her body was set on fire. Reasons to accuse John. The police found it difficult to charge Mrs. Keyes' murder to John Lee. Almost all of the evidence she was referring to, the first used in the murder, was known to be used in John's work inside the house, and his hand was filled with blood after the incident, directly. It was justified that during the storm penetrated the maid's room to save her, the maid, who said she did not hear the sound of glass shattered from the ground, and also kerosene which was cremated by the body has been found blood stains that resemble the blood of John. The miracle occurs for the first time. On a February morning in 1885, John Lee was taken to the execution site after he had taken his last meal, and when asked about his wish he did not speak a word. The strangest thing was that he did not do what others did in those circumstances. 
when he pulled out the grip of the fist, which would have made John swinging over the door that would open from underneath him. Nothing had happened but remained as if nothing awaited him as if he were sure of the failure of the matter, and with a second attempt it was the same, here, the astonishment of the audience has increased dramatically in itself. The miracle surprised everyone's but this surprise did not stop the mechanic from inspecting the execution machine to look for the damage that everyone expected and therefore expect it to be repaired and reinstated, but even after the machine was repaired and tested more than once it did not work John Lee's time on them, which led to the summoning of the prison commander, who wanted to watch the execution himself again, that time that did not work as usual, and in the end was only to wait for orders from the Supreme Court. Why did the gallows crash? In fact, the miracle did not happen as some of you might expect. The chute was all broken. If you were quick to say that the mechanic had made sure there was no defect, you would know that the trick was. It lay in that the gallows do not become operational just in case there is something heavy on them, and this is exactly the right description of the lucky man Zhong Li. I hope you enjoyed the video and support the channel and subscribe.